to UMS Science 8, Lecture on the DNA, Evidence of Ancestry Within Our Whale of a Tail Unit. Whale of a Tail's final piece of evidence to trace common ancestry of the modern cetaceans, which are the porpoises, the whales, the dolphins, will be the most modern tool at the paleontologist's hands, DNA. To effectively use the data around the DNA, you must first understand the molecule of life, deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as DNA. DNA is the code that serves for the instruction of all our cells to make proteins. You see on the right side of the slide the central dogma. It shows the process in which all cells use DNA to create new molecules of proteins. Proteins do all the jobs of the cells. They're kind of like the worker bees of the cells. So the message to build it must be accurate. The code of the DNA is built with four nucleotides, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine shown here as letters in the DNA double helix strand. Thymine changes to uracil when the DNA is transcribed into an mRNA, which stands for messenger RNA. It's made by reading a segment of the DNA called a gene. The gene has the code every three nucleotides is called a codon and it codes for the ribosome to read the message and build the protein with these little amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. In order for the cell to be successful and work well, the exact protein that it needs needs to be built. If the code is wrong, read wrong, assembled wrong, the protein tends not to work, not work right, or becomes a problem for the cell to deal with. So it is vital to the cell's nucleus to get the message out correctly. Where do we get our DNA? We get our DNA from our mom and our dad. Our DNA is inherited from our parents. Humans have 23 pairs. Here is the dad's pair of chromosomes. They are large strands of condensed DNA. When the dad gives DNA through a sperm and donates it to the child, the sperm only has one of each of the 23 pairs, thereby only giving the child 23 chromosomes instead of 46, and the mom gives one of the 23 pairs, thereby giving the other 23 to the child or the offspring. That way, the new baby hippopotamus in this case would have a set of that is complete, half from the dad, half from the mom, and there's a lot of variation that happens right here. DNA is the molecule that carries the inherited information, and a gene, as shown here, is just a segment that codes for a protein. So again, the DNA is housed in the nucleus, it has a chromosome, which is a bunch of condensed DNA, and when the DNA is unwound and read, a certain segment of it is called a gene, and that gene codes for a protein, typically. A virus genetic, shown in your TCI textbook right here, is a nice image. A virus, on the other hand, is just genetic information. It is not alive. It is made out of nucleic acid, typically DNA or RNA, it sticks to the cells of living things and hijacks or takes over the cell with its genetic code. The DNA then directs the virus to make more protein covering. The gene, the segment of DNA that contains the instructions for building that protein is there and then a new species arrives when the 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 mechanism changes the protein so much that it is a new species with new traits. We're going to use this to find relationships using the DNA. DNA, as we said, is inherited from both parents. And so what we are going to use with our whale of a tail is if the animals share common ancestry, they should have some of the same DNA. They got some from dad, some from mom. So the DNA segment variations determine the different traits that the baby or the embryo has. And one example you saw yesterday in Miss Bombardieri's video was when the embryo of mammals for the uh, 
dolphin, the spotted dolphin was turned off, it inhibited the development of the limbs in the dolphin. These are the animals that we're going to evaluate in the activity for today. The top three here are the cetaceans, the right whale, the porpoise, and the sperm whale. And we're going to compare them to these other hooved animals. The way that you're going to do it is by comparing the differences between the species. The right whale has nine differences between the cow. And so what I suggest is you'll cut and paste your genetic code below the animal. And you can pick any of the cetaceans. It doesn't have to be the right whale. It can be the um, porpoise or the sperm whale. But you're going to just figure out how many differences each species has. Then from here, you're going to use your DNA data and compare it with the other animals on the Google Sheet. You're going to analyze the data that you collect and then check your answers before you get too far into the analysis to make sure that you've done the counting right. You, you don't have to count all 10 if you're short on time or it takes you a long time. Just count at least five of them. And then add the fifth and final piece of evidence to your interactive notebook on page 94. So when you see your table, for example, if we're looking at the cow, the cow is shown here. These are the differences for the animals down below. And then these differences right here for camel, deer, pig, peccary, and rhino. That, like I said, the answers are here. And then the questions will be pushed out in a document to you in Google Classroom or in Edpuzzle, depending on what your teacher pushes it out as. With that, the final thing you need to do is to add number five. Number five, DNA evidence shows cetaceans are most closely related to the artiodactyl and modern hippos is the final piece of evidence.